If you've been in Catanning for any period of time, you've probably heard of Typewriter Hill. The problem is that nobody seems to know why it's called that. Well, that ends now. Today, we're getting a little history lesson. So the story today starts at the Armstrong County Courthouse. And the reason it starts here is there's an interesting inscription here about the founding of our county. And on the underside of that, it talks about this was also the place of the invention of the Doherty Visible Typewriter. And for something like that to be mentioned along with the founding of our county, it must be pretty important. And now if you haven't already guessed it, the Doherty Visible Typewriter is where we get the name Typewriter Hill. But if you want to get the real story of Typewriter Hill, you need to know the story of the man. James Denny Doherty. Denny Doherty was born here in Catanning, Pennsylvania on October 17, 1855. He was born in a relatively poor family, and so instead of going to school, he actually had to work in a brickyard in his youth to support his family. Finally, after many years, he was able to save up enough to go to school. Uh, he got his education, went to college, and ended up coming back to Catanning to work in law. He learned shorthand and started his law career right here as a stenographer. Ultimately, he upgraded to a typewriter, but he grew so frustrated because each time that he wanted to check his work, he had to lift up the carriage to see what he was doing. Typewriters at that time were not visible. You weren't able to see what you were typing until the paper came out. He later passed the bar exam and became a lawyer, but he was still frustrated with the inefficiencies of the typewriter. So he set out to create his own. And in 1881, his first prototype was complete and the Doherty Visible Typewriter was born. It was a revolutionary machine. It had 40 keys arranged in four rows, and it had a shift mechanism to give you 80 total characters. On August 4th, 1891, he was awarded two patents for his revolutionary design, and they began building his new typewriters at a factory in New York. And his new design became a commercial success. After achieving that success in a few years in New York, Denny decided to come home again to his beloved Catanning, and he built his new factory right here on what we know today as Typewriter Hill. That factory was built here in 1894. Unfortunately, just a few years after the factory was built, tragedy struck. In 1897, through what is said to be the work of an incompetent manager, a batch of 2,500 typewriters was found to be defective and had to be put into the scrap heap. Orders were canceled across the country and operations at the Doherty Typewriter Company were suspended. The factory and patents were later sold and renamed to the Pittsburgh Writing Machine Company. The new company manufactured here until 1908 when they suspended operations. They were sold again to Union Typewriter Company in 1911, and the newly formed Pittsburgh Visible Typewriter Company went bankrupt in 1913 when they shuttered the factory for good. And then on April 14, 1939, uh, Denny Doherty actually passed away in Cleveland, Ohio but his body was returned back to Catanning to be buried in the town that he helped make famous. Typewriter Hill and the whole south end of town look completely different today, obviously. At one point, there was a large steel mill. There were many factories, including the typewriter company. Uh, there was actually even a whole extra little town called Edgewood, uh, where 422 uh, now comes down into Catanning. Water Street and Riverfront Park weren't even thoughts yet. And the great danger is when you lose all those buildings and you lose that entire industry and that area of town is that we will forget uh, what was actually once there, that we'll lose our history. But there's one part of the Doherty Visible Typewriter that lives on today. All you have to do is take a look at your keyboard. You see that E-R-T-Y above your home row keys? That's the last four letters in Doherty. That's Denny's signature on his revolutionary machine that still lives today on every English language keyboard around the world. And it all started here in Little Catanning. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoy making these little history videos, and so uh, I need your input. I'd like to make some more of these about Catanning, but uh, there's so many different topics, and I'm really not sure where to go. So I just want to hear from you. What are you interested in learning more about? Is it the Lenape Indians or the Battle of Catanning, or maybe you just want to know more about that Edgewood intersection and the little, little town that was there? It uh, doesn't matter to me. I, I just want you to put whatever you want to hear next in the comments, and uh, just maybe it'll be the next video. I'd also really appreciate it if you'd share this around, uh, not just for me, but uh, for the entire city. 
I think it's so important for all of us to know and to remember our history. And uh, none of these things are around when you look. And so we have to, we have to rely on word of mouth and uh, we can use the power of social media uh, to get these stories into as many people as possible in our area. I think that's so important, especially to reach the next generation. As always, appreciate when you like, comment, and if you're not subscribed to this channel, uh, make sure to do that. There's lots more videos to come, Katani. It's a blessing to be with you, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.